Hey everybody, welcome back today to Retro Tech. I am excited to show off a Sony KV CRT consumer grade television. Now this one is a KV 13 FS 100 and it was produced in late 2004, this being October. So it's one of the last manufactured CRTs that would have been on the consumer market here in the United States. It has a 13 inch screen and viewing area. It supports multiple inputs. It doesn't have all of them, but it does have two composite video inputs, one on the front, one on the back. It also supports component video. I'm using that right now with a triple bypass modded Sega Genesis Model 2, and then that is being fed through component video using HD Retrovision's component video cables into the back of the TV. So that's what you're seeing right now. This is 240p and how it looks on the screen. I'll show you some close-ups of what you could expect to see on this kind of a Trinitron tube uh, when it's in 240p. So that's kind of an interesting look. You're not gonna get a fully defined scan line like you would on PVM, but it's still gonna be quite sharp. Uh, you'll also notice that the geometry is never going to be as good as a PVM, of course, on this little CRT. However, there are some quite interesting things if we look at the internals of this and consider the build quality that Sony put into this last model. Uh, I personally was surprised. So what I'd like to do first is, uh, after that quick overview on the television, let's go out and take a look at what it looks like on the inside. Uh, there are some important things to go over there, and we'll show off a lot of the hardware and then we'll come back and we'll do a little bit of an adjustment on it. So let's just go now and we'll look at the inside of the CRT and see what it looks like. And uh, again, I was surprised at how much quality uh, that Sony had put into this build, so maybe you will be too. Here's a look inside the KV CRT television and I want you to notice some things that make it very unique. First off, notice that the build quality here is very good. This TV has some things I normally would not see on just a consumer set. And let me show you a couple of those features out here. First off, we're gonna look at our deflection yoke. And this is a pretty unique deflection yoke. It looks almost like something you'd see in a professional video monitor, not very often in a consumer set, but the KVs from the mid 2000s would have had this. And you'll even notice a potentiometer on here. And that will allow for some uh, convergence controls in there. And then we've got our normal neck with our convergence and purity rings right there and then we've got our neck board and the thing on the neck board too that also makes it a little bit more unique is we've got a major convergence control over here and that will uh, that's normally only on a PVM or higher quality CRT they don't normally have those on a lot of consumer sets here we've got some of the uh, other important parts here on our main a board which will include our deflection and we've got our inputs over here for video. We've got our flyback transformer right here. And you'll notice we've got screen controls on here and focus controls, which is a nice feature. A really nice degaussing coil around the tube. And then a really nice tube. And there's a FD Trinitron. If we look on this side, we'll have our tuner for television. And again, this one has inputs for composite video and then component video, as well as another composite video input on the front. Uh, but that's just a look inside of this CRT. Looks really great. You've also got your stereo speaker built out. So you could tell that Sony really did know how to engineer a speaker as well as a tube because that's, that is right up next to the tube. It's not interfering with the screen purity or anything. So the speakers are well designed and then the sound travels through the side of the tube and out the front. And that's what it looks like inside the Sony. All right, we have things set back up here inside. The shell has still been removed and we're gonna make an adjustment. Just so you know, first things first, we've got our 240p test suite pulled up, again through component video, using the same Sega Genesis. And I've got Keith Rainey's monoscope pattern pulled up and we're gonna just turn the brightness on the pattern down a little bit and we're going to concentrate on the top areas of the screen and then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the overhead view where we will come in and we will turn this potentiometer here on the back of this uh, deflection yoke and as I spin that uh, it, that is going to adjust the convergence on parts of the screen especially the tops and bottoms just a little bit clockwise, it, it seems to come a lot clearer and line up a lot better 
than it had originally so that's all the way turned and that looks almost perfect Well, you know, I actually kind of like this TV, and uh, I'll give you a couple reasons why. Right now, it's actually showing 480i, and it looks really good in 480i. I don't see a lot of flickering or flashing on the screen. It seems to handle that really nicely. 240p does look pretty good. Of course, you're going to get a great response time, so you're not going to have to worry about any input lag with this television. Now, unfortunately, there's no S-Video input, but you do get some composite inputs. You get RF, and then, of course, you get the component, so that's pretty nice. And uh, so you do sacrifice with this video, but you get those other inputs. And then also you're getting a great sound system with this TV. It actually has a better sound system than any pro video monitor really would have. It's got the stereo speakers and then you have remote control support. Now, if you have a remote control, you can even go in and uh, do a, ge a geometry adjustments. And there's a whole uh, load of adjustments that are listed in the service manual that I will have a link to in the description for the video. I'll also have a link to Keith Rainey's pattern, which is in the 240p test suite. So if you want to go check out the more information on the 240p test suite and Artemio and all the great people over there who work on that software, I'll have a link to that in the description as well. But I, again, really like this TV, and I think that it's something you should keep an eye out for. I mean, nowadays it's getting really difficult to find CRTs that are smaller, and even if you have the money and you want to buy a PVM, it can be very difficult to find one right now. There's not a whole lot online for sale, and we're getting into the years where maybe we're running out of just a lot of availability, and uh, a lot of these things that uh, are already out there are in the hands of a lot of collectors at this point. So keep in mind and keep an eye out for these 13 inch or even up to 20 inch and bigger uh, late model Sony Trinitrons that only have analog video inputs and maintain a four by three aspect ratio. I think they're just great. And if you have any comments on this, please let me know in the comment section below or any other feedback. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. I'll also have a link down there for Patreon support services if you need any uh, advice when it comes to CRTs or you want to just connect with us or support the channel and maybe even get a repair here in our shop. That's the best way to do that. Otherwise, I will see you all next time with some more retro content.